In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. My brothers and sisters, to celebrate these sacred mysteries worthily, let us now call to mind our sins and ask God for mercy and pardon. I confess to, to Almighty, Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that, that I have greatly sinned, sinned in, in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask the Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have, have mercy. mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, on and on earth peace to people, people of good will. will. We, we praise, praise you, we bless, bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks, you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, God heavenly, heavenly King, O God, God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Son Lord, Lord God, God, Lamb of God, God Son of the Father, you take, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take, take away the sins of the world, receive our prayers. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who have united the many nations in confessing your name, grant that those reborn in the font of baptism may be one in the faith of their hearts and the homage of their deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. As the crippled man who had been cured clung to Peter and John, all the people hurried in amazement toward them in the portico called Solomon's Portico. When Peter saw this, he addressed the people. You children of Israel, why are you amazed at this? And why do you look so intently at us as if we had made him walk by our own power or piety. The God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, the God of our fathers, has glorified his servant Jesus, whom you handed over and denied in Pilate's presence when he had decided to release him. You denied the Holy and Righteous One and asked that a murderer be released to you the author of life you put to death, but God raised him from the dead. Of this we are witnesses. And by faith in his name, this man, whom you see and know, his name has made strong. And the faith that comes through it has given him this perfect health in the presence of all of you. Now I know, brothers and sisters, that you acted out of ignorance, just as your leaders did. But God has thus brought to fulfillment what he had announced beforehand through the mouth of all the prophets, that Christ would suffer. Repent, therefore, and be converted, that your sins may be wiped away, and that the Lord may grant you times of refreshment, and send you the Christ already appointed for you, Jesus whom heaven must receive until the times of universal restoration, of which God spoke through the mouth of his holy prophets from of old. For Moses said, A prophet like me will the Lord your God raise up for you from among your own kin. To him you shall listen in all that he may say to you. 
Everyone who does not listen to that prophet will be cut off from the people. Moreover, all the prophets who spoke from Samuel and those afterwards also announced these days. You are the children of the prophets and of the covenant that God made with your ancestors when he said to Abraham, In your offspring, all the families of the earth shall be blessed. For you first, God raised up his servant and sent him to bless you by turning each of you from your evil ways. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to be God. God. <clears throat> o Lord, our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. O Lord, Lord our God, God how, how wonderful your name, name in all, all the earth. earth. O Lord, our Lord, how glorious is your name over all the earth. What is man that you should be mindful of him, or the son of man that you should care for him? O oh, oh, Lord, our, our God, God, how wonderful, wonderful your name, name in all, all the earth. You have made him little less than the angels and crowned him with glory and honor. You have given him rule over the works of your hands, putting all things under his feet. O oh, Lord, oh, Lord, our God, God how, wonderful how wonderful your name, wonderful your name over all the earth. earth. All sheep and oxen, yes, and the beasts of the field, the birds of the air, the fishes of the sea, and whatever swims the paths of the seas. O oh, Lord, Lord, our, our God, God, how wonderful, how wonderful your, your name in all, all the earth. earth. Your blessings, God, Father. bless your hearts and your lips that we may do proclaim his words in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The disciples of Jesus recounted what had taken place along the way and how they had come to recognize him in the breaking of the bread. While they were still speaking about this, he stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. But they were startled and terrified and thought that they were seeing a ghost. Then he said to them, why are you troubled? And why do questions arise in your hearts? Look at my hands and my feet, that it is I myself. Touch me and see, because a ghost does not have flesh and bones, as you can see I have. And as he said this, he showed them his hands and his feet. While they were still incredulous for joy and were amazed, he asked them, Have you anything here to eat? They gave him a piece of baked fish. He took it and ate it in front of them. He said to them, These are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you, that everything written about me in the law of Moses and in the prophets and Psalms must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures. And he said to them, Thus it is written that the Christ would suffer and rise from the dead on the third day, and that repentance for the forgiveness of sins would be preached in his name to all the nations beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, yes. Sorry about that. In both of our readings today, we see the message of forgiveness and turning back to the Lord that is so very present 
and the lives of the children of God. In our first reading from the Acts of the Apostles, Peter reminds the people what they did to Jesus the Christ, how they denied him, how they murdered him, and put to death the author of life. And yet, even though Peter reminds them of how much they did to our Lord and Savior, Peter still calls these people to repent, that your sins may be wiped away, that the Lord may grant you times of refreshment. So we see even the people, after being reminded of how much they turned against our Savior, we see Peter still offering that gift of God's forgiveness, that gift of the Lord's refreshment of new life. And in the gospel today, we also see the same element for the apostles. Though they turn from Jesus, they deny Jesus. Jesus says, peace be with you. To, that, to those disciples who abandoned him. So we give thanks this Easter season that this message never ends. Um, not for those that were so violent against the Lord in our first reading, not even to his closest friends, the apostles, who turned against him or denied him. This message will never end. Peter and Jesus both preach it. Receive forgiveness. Turn back to the Lord and he will refresh you. My brothers and sisters, let us now present to the Lord our petitions. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis, our bishops, priests, and deacons, that they may continue to lead the church in witnessing to the joyful truth of the resurrection. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayers. For an end to the coronavirus and for those who are suffering from it, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayers. For the family of God gathered here in Easter joy, that we bear witness to the risen Christ and reflect him in our lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For our catechumens, as they eagerly await for full, <clears throat> full communion with us as brothers and sisters in the church that Jesus Christ gave us, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For all those who are not able to receive the precious body and blood of our Lord this holy week, that they may feel his presence within them through prayer. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For all those who are sick and are dying, for those who have died, and for those whose names are written in the St. Jude Book of Intentions, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. And for our Mass intentions today, for Father Joel, for the repose of the soul of Father Tim Church, and for Father Andrew, for everyone affected by COVID-19, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Almighty Father, your beloved Son has risen from the dead as he promised. In peace and joy, we present our prayers to you through the same risen Lord, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands to become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be, be God, God forever. forever.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, and you become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, we will be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash away my iniquities and cleanse me from my sins. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. May the, may Lord, the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all of this holy church. Graciously be pleased, O Lord, to accept the sacrificial gift. <coughs> we offer joyfully both for those who have been reborn and in hope of your increased help from heaven, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, we lift them up, up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is right and just. just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but above all, to love you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took breath and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat, eat this bread and drink this cup, cup, we proclaim your, your death, death, O Lord, Lord until you come, come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Edward our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy 
on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come, thy will be done. done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, as, as we forgive those who trespass against us. us. And lead, and lead us, us not, not into temptation, temptation but deliver, deliver us from evil. from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we are wait to bless that hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now, now and forever. And forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look that on our sins, but in the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away the sins of the world. Have, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I'm, I'm not, not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but, but only, only say, say the word, and my soul, soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. Amen. The blood of Christ. Amen. Let us pray the prayer of spiritual communion together. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire you with all my heart. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, I ask you to come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already in my heart and unite myself to you completely. Please do not let me ever be separated from you.
Let us pray. Hear, O Lord, our prayers that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring your help in this present life and ensure for us eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, and with your, your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Alleluia, alleluia. alleluia.